Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first step, I want to make sure it that we must have our leading coefficient must be 1. And as you can see, it is 2 right now over here. We want to make it 1 by just dividing by 2 over here. If you divide this one by 2, you must divide each and every term by 2 across the board. So we simply got simply x square plus 3 over 2 x equals to negative 1. So far so good. Now I want you to just simply focus on this part over here. 3 over 2. I want you to just put it over here 3 over 2 don't worry about this sign just this 3 over 2 and then I want you to divide it by 2 dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by times 1 over 2 all right so once you multiply 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 that's gonna give you 3 over 4 and then whatever this quantity is you must square it so these are the steps. So whatever we got this quantity, we're going to add it on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that one. So that's going to be x squared plus 3 over 2x plus, and then I'm going to put down negative 1 plus. And now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down 3 over 4 square on this side and 3 over 4 on this side. Now I want you to just focus on the left hand side over here. This represents a complete square of x plus 3 over 4 square and on this side this is negative 1 could be written as negative 1 over 1 plus 3 over 4 squared is same as 9 over 16. Now you might be wondering how did I get this thing by completing the square. So we have used this fact as you can see over here a minus b square could be written as a square minus 2 times a b plus b square. So in other words, this x, this came right up here, this 3 over 4 showed up right up here, and whatever this sign is, this showed up right here. So far so good. So let's move on now. I want to make sure. Let's go ahead and simplify this part over here these two fractions i'm going to put it right up here now we're going to add these two fractions by crisscross multiplication that means you're going to crisscross like this way you cross multiply this way and then cross multiply this way let's go ahead and take care of this thing when you do like this a negative 1 times 16 is negative 16 and then whatever this plus sign you just put it there then cross multiply the other way around 9 times 1 is 9 divided by your bottom numbers your denominators are 1 and 16 you just multiply them 1 times 16 is 16 so what we got on the top is negative 7 over 16 so that means this right hand side these two fractions they are simplified to negative 7 over 16 on the left hand side is x plus 3 over 4 square now we want to solve for x so we must get rid of this square so we're going to take the square root on both sides so that's the next step we want to do so now you can see this square and square root they undo each other we got x plus 3 over 4 equals to i can break this one split them up i'm going to put down positive or negative sign outside negative 7 on the top divided by 
the square root of 16 on the bottom. Now I want you to notice one thing over whenever you have a negative number or negative sign in that radical so it simply becomes an imaginary number so I can write this right hand side as positive or negative i times square root of 7 divided by square root of 16 is 4 and on the left hand side is x plus 3 over Four. So far so good. Now over here since we want to isolate x so we must move this 3 over 4 on the other side. So when you move this positive 3 over 4 on the other side that become negative 3 over 4 plus or minus i times square root of 7 divided by now we're going to split them up along the positive and negative sign. So we're going to simply have two solutions. So first is going to be x equal to negative 3 over 4 plus i square root of 7 divided by 4. The other solution is going to be negative 3 over 4 minus i square root of 7 divided by 4. Thus our solution set turns out to be these both solutions. I put it together and as you can see both of these solutions have i imaginary number that means they are a complex numbers. So that means they are not real numbers so that means we don't have any real solutions. So that means these solutions are not real. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to share and subscribe my channel for more exciting videos.